This is a piece of a mineral, it's a quartzite mineral, and we're actually in the, the Ethiopian Institute, or the Department of Mineralogy, the Central Mineralogy Lab, where all of the minerals from the country are analysed and their content is, is noted. And this is a really nice sample, the quartzite, which is silicon dioxide, essentially based, but inside this rather large lump we can see some very nice grains of pure gold. So Ethiopia is famous for production of gold, and this is a really nice sample. I was really fortunate to see it, so you can see circled in the red circle there, one, two quite large chunks of gold. So, so the gold grains embedded in the stones are brought to this room, they are cut, and then they are crushed in mills to make a very fine powder. The gold is then extracted or removed from the fine powder by its mass with water, then the grains of gold are taken for analysis in the laboratory. And this is a very important laboratory for a gold producing country because it's where all of the gold standards are really made and where the analysis is carried out for material which is either bought or sold in the country. Today I've been talking with Kader who is the, the expert and the head of the, of the gold analysis and he's explained the process to me. So what we see on the bench here are a whole range of different samples of material that people have brought to the laboratory for analysis. There are some from companies, there are some from the police. So these are materials that have been bought unknowingly as gold, when in fact they turned out to be something very, very far from gold. In fact, most of them were brass. So the analysis is very, very important because it, it, it actually tells us the real value of the commodity that's been brought or sold. So for instance, one of these materials, which claims to be pure gold, would be digested in the laboratory. By digesting the metal or dissolving it in aqua regia, we make a very, very dilute or a weak solution of many, many metals. This is no good for analysis because the analysis is, is bothered by all of the other metals in solution. If we want to analyse gold, we have to separate all of the other metals out. So we do that by making a coordination compound. This is chemistry. And in this case, we're saturating it with chlorides. So the chloride itself with gold is extractable into an organic medium, something like petrol, and it leaves all of the other metals behind in the water at the bottom. So we don't need to analyse for the other metals. Gold is special. Why special? It is very beautiful. This is one, one case. And it cannot change its is, it is, it is, uh, characters, it is phase and it is existence uh, as long as, uh, even if you put in water for a very long time. And you can store your money uh, and it will never change. And all Ethiopians are, uh, might, might be proud of it. I don't thank, know. Thank you, thank you for having us and showing us these things today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You happy? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always happy. Thank you, Kader. Okay. No In short notice. Uh, okay. Operation was. Thank you very much.